there are reception areas for each of the psychic senses and they basically correlate with the chakras um, we're going to do some exercises to help you to sort of activate those so that you can actually experience what it feels like okay do we feel ready okay so feet flat on the earth again closing your eyes tuning into your breathing see if you can really just relax the body relax the muscles relax the bones noticing your connection to the earth under your feet it's grounding balancing centering And as you're breathing, shift your presence into your solar plexus chakra located below the rib cage and above the navel. Imagine like you're literally breathing in and out through the solar plexus chakra in a full radius all the way around you. Just really being present in this area. Now with your presence anchored in the solar plexus chakra, silently within yourself, tell yourself something that you know for sure is true, like your full name, your birth date, your address, something that's factually true. Notice what it feels like for you when you're telling yourself something that's true how does it feel in your solar plexus chakra when you're telling yourself something that's true and then contrast that by telling yourself something that's false you can say that you have a fake address or a fake phone number or, or fake name and then maybe go back and forth between a truth and a false, a factual truth and a false, and just see if you can detect any differences between how it feels when you're in truth and how it feels with something that's not true. And when you feel ready, go ahead and just discontinue the exercise and open your eyes. So there's no right or wrong. It's going to be different for everyone. But the solar plexus chakra is the reception area for psychic sensing, right? So right now we're starting with yes, no, aligned not aligned true false but that will expand as you're developing so for now let's go around and just tell me what it felt like for you if you could discern a difference between a truth and a false melissa yeah like i my truth was that i live in flagstaff and mm -hmm. my false was that i live in la okay <laughs> and it was like i physically felt weak when I was telling myself I lived in LA, like my legs shook, mm -hmm. sh were shaking. Mm -hmm. But when I was like, I'm in Flagstaff, it was like, like I felt grounded in that. Okay, good, that's good. So that's your truth and your false, so to speak. Now this can translate into any choice you need to make. Is this aligned with me or not aligned with me? Is this aligned with my highest path or not? Mm -hmm. Right? Couldn't feel a difference. Okay. Not yet. With practice, you will. Yeah. Right? With psychic development, it's tricky. The more you try to force and concentrate, the more you're going to accidentally shut it off. The more you relax and go with the flow, right? 
the more it will happen. And this is our learning environment and maybe it's the first time you've ever tried it, but this can be a good homework for you. Perhaps when you're at home in your own uh, energy field you, and you try this and you can journal about it, you might be able to detect more of a difference. Okay, Jennifer? Don't be mad at me. Uh, that's always been my super, super sensitive area. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that's just what it's always been the same thing that it's, it feels fine or good or it hurts a little bit. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> And that's just, I'm, I'm actually would like to learn to channel that a little bit better so that it's not so, so sensitive. Mm -hmm. Because it's not necessarily really pleasant. Yeah, you know? no, I get it. It's not always fun being psychic. Mm -hmm. So after this, I'll show you all an energy practice that you can do to help protect you from those things. Okay. I mean, I can even just be standing next to food and it starts to go, oh, okay, 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 we won't eat that cheese. Mm -hmm. Calm down, you know? Mm -hmm. like it's a little overboard. I do that with supplements. I just hold the bottle in my hand. Is this for me or not? So how did it feel for you with a, a truth and a false? Well, that's how it felt. Like the truth was like, oh, yeah, okay. And the false was like... Kind of hurts a little. Yeah, it hurt. It depends. I mean, if it would have been something a little bit more, it, it was a funny false. Like I have three husbands. Right, 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 right. Yeah. No. Yeah, yeah. No, you know, I don't have any. So yeah. It's just something silly. Yeah. And then, uh, so I guess it would have depended on what it was too. Like if mm. it was something I didn't want to be true, even though I knew it was true, I'd be like, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, one of those kind of. And things. that's a good point you just brought up. This is something that you could sometimes we have things that we want to be true, but it's not. <clears throat> And we can check in with that and learn to trust it. Like the hurdle to overcome with that is needing to know why. Mm -hmm. Right? I always want to know why everything. Ask Kareem. <laughs> I'm always like, why, why, why? <laughs> but when it comes to this type of thing, you might not always know why. And it's better to just surrender to. I don't know why I feel this way, but I know enough to trust this. And so I'm going to make my decision based on my instinct. Okay, ask a question. Yes. Do you mind before we go to you? No, not at all. Uh, <laughs> silly. I, <laughs> the, the whole thing about the part of the reason I came here is because I've had gone to different psychic people since I've been here just because I wanted to learn. Mm -hmm. you know? And then I started to realize that something's not right because I would different people would tell me different things it's like well if you're all tapping into the field then how come you're all not seeing the same thing mm -hmm. and then some people would give me time frames well this is going to happen in this time frame and then when it doesn't and because I live here I would say I would go back to them and say how come Pardon? that didn't happen mm -hmm. well because there's free will and you must have done something to change it and I thought then why would we even need to go to talk to you mm -hmm. because you can't predict something that could change the millisecond I walk out the door. Mm -hmm. Here's what you do on that. Anytime anybody goes to any type of psychic, you use this that we're talking about now. Does what this person is saying, does it feel aligned with me or not? Because here's the thing, and we're all here learning and growing. No one's perfect. We can only do our best, and there's layers of evolution. But you're only going to be as psychically clear as you are spiritually clear. And people do get in an ego thing with it. And there's other factors like physical health as well. Um, there are things that cloud your vision, so to speak. Now, it is true that we have free will. And that we can use our free will to influence what we experience. It's also true that there's divine will. Right? And so we have things that we are meant to learn and experience and grow from. That if it's divine will, we can't change it. No amount of free will can change divine will, right? If this person's destined to die, no amount of my free will is going to change that if God says it's time for this person to die. But I can use my free will to choose how I'm going to navigate through situations, right? Now, 
when it comes to what psychics see in the future, it's true that it's based on a person's present energy. And it is true that if you change something in your present energy, you're changing the potential reality that you're lining up with, right? So everything, I look at everything as being in co-creation with Spirit, God, the universe. Psychic readings are not centered around prediction. Good psychic readings are not centered around futuristic predictions. They're centered around helping you to come into alignment with your energy so that you can have the best quality of experience in life in the here and now. Right? A good psychic reading is, futuristic prediction is only a fraction of it, and it's based on where you're at in your energy right now. When I do readings, I tell people, this is what I see in your energy. This is what this type of energy is going to manifest for you. If you like it, great. Keep radiating that energy, and you're going to receive more of, the, more of that. If you don't, then shift your energy so that something new can manifest. Like, I see my job as a psychic being around helping people, like I said earlier, to gain an enhanced awareness of now. Most of the time, I feel like I'm just being the verbal voice of that person's own intuition. Honestly, like, you know what I mean? So helping you to maybe become more conscious of what your own instincts are telling you. So it's, it's meant to be a, a tool to help you to proactively create based on what you feel and find enthusiasm and purpose in in your life. And I always, when I do readings, tell people, there's a spiritual saying that says, change what you're doing or you'll end up where you're going. Most people don't change what they're doing. Most people are creatures of habit. They're going to keep doing the same vibration, the same activities. And because of that, prediction can be very accurate, right? Because most people don't change their trajectory of energy. But when I do readings, I like to empower people to know, yeah, you're bordering into manifesting this, but you don't have to experience it. You could shift your energy. If this is not what you want more of, then the next part of my reading is this is how you shift your energy to bring you into another potential. Right. So for each of you, you have your own way of discerning that, right? For me, if it's a truth, I'm comfortable, relaxed, open, expansive in my body. If it's a false, it's a, con a slight contraction, like I want to like energetically vomit. That's how it feels for me. So... The important thing is that you can identify it for yourself and consciously start tapping into this, right? With it, when you're making choices in, and again, start with small things, right? And, and that gives you the confidence for the big things.